from IMTS 2012 in Chicago. My name is Yesenia Salcedo. I'm senior editor at Cutting Tool Engineering and Micro Manufacturing Magazines. I'm here today with Drew Griffin, sales applications manager at Bruker, and he's going to tell us a little bit about this item that they have on display this year. So what we have here today is uh, a Bruker Contour GTK1 uh, scanning white light uh, interferometer. So it works essentially like a regular microscope, except we use uh, the interferometric procedure to scan the surface and actually generate a 3D uh, surface map to characterize roughness, uh, surface finish, um, texture, uh, and then we work through a variety of industries to actually be able to measure and then characterize these parts. So for example, uh, semiconductor industry, here at IMTS we're, talking, we're working with uh, people who are doing surface finish uh, modification, corrosion and pitting, tooling and honing marks, Think anything that they're, they're, they're going to modify with a machine and they want to measure that surface roughness. We find ourselves talking very much with people like biomedical engineers, um, we're talking about high precision machining for automotive, aircraft, uh, alternative energy applications as well. So on the surface, uh, on the stage right now, we have a semiconductor sample that's mounted, and that's, that sample's got some bumps on it, which are about 30 microns in height. And I have it set up so that we can just quickly uh, do a measurement. We'll scan through the, uh, the surface, and then very quickly end up with a 3D topographic map. Once we have that information, we have our surface patterning, our texture, and our roughness, which is all contained therein. And we can very easily look at things like the basic stats to determine that, yep, we have uh, we have the roughness both on top of the uh, on top of our bumps, between the bumps, and then the total surface surface roughness as well. On the Contour GTK1, we have 150 uh, millimeters of XY displacement stage. We have a vertical scan height of up to 10 millimeters, with a resolution down to three nanometers in our VSI mode and down to one angstrom in our PSI mode. Our software package is, is, is fully integrated with the system. It's easy to use. We can build routines and database roughness values. We can quickly and effectively set up routines so that an operator can run the machine. But it's powerful enough that we can still do research as well. I'm actually setting the, fo I'm setting the focal plane height so that, that our, our sample of interest is actually in view. And then with one click, we can make a measurement. And scan, and scan through focus and acquire our data. So now we can, we can very quickly zoom in and actually view, uh, view our, same, our same bumps from, uh, from a, a variety of different magnifications. And the nice thing about this particular technique is that uh, we, we don't lose Z resolution as we change objectives. We have the same Z resolution whether we're in low, uh, load magnification, high field of view, or whether we're in a, a, a high magnification, low field of view. The Z resolution stays constant throughout the entire uh, throughout throughout the entire range of the instrument. So this is a this is a, the uh, the Bruker NP Flex. Uh, this is essentially the same technology as in our Contour GT series, except we have a flexible head that allows us to pivot um, in mu in multiple different angles uh, with a 12 by 12 by 12 full field of view. For we we can put in large parts at complicated angles and complicated geometries. I think ideally this, this machine was designed to let us uh, really explore bigger parts than we see on our tabletop units. So we're able to get big parts, complicated geometries, with the same vertical scanning resolution that we see on our, uh, our flagship Contour series as well. Andrew, can you tell us how long has the Contour GT been around? Yeah, this particular instrument was introduced in 2010. Um, some of the updates that came out on, on the Contour uh, GT series are we are now using LED as a light source. It's cool. It doesn't cause any thermal expansion d during the testing. Um, as well as we're now using a, a 60 frame per second camera, which gives us a much faster data capture rate. Um, this Contour GT is actually the 10th generation of this technology. It started out um, way back in the early 80s, and we've had, this is actually our 10th, 10th release, so that we're able to, uh, you know, we've been making these instruments for a long time. They're high quality, and we're really known throughout the industry for being the top performer. Well, thank you so much for your time and all the information, and we hope our viewers out there find it useful as well.